Hey guys, in today's video, I'm trying to capitalize on the fall saga run at the Falls of the Ohio on the Ohio River. So you're gonna stay tuned for this one. Catch some fish, it's great times. There we go. That's a better one. Ah. Just get outside and do something awesome. All right guys, so I'm down here at the Falls of the Ohio. I would hate to tell you all how many times I've been down here. Um, goal today is to not get skunked. Um, there are a couple people down here today, so I will not be by myself, but I've been down here so many freaking times where I've gotten skunked. And I'm gonna go ahead and pre-apologize because it seems like they're working on this railroad track. There's planes flying over, so it might be a little loud, but we're gonna try to catch some fish. Gosh, that sound is annoying. They're like jackhammering up there. So I don't really have a ton of time today. I probably have about an hour of actual fishing time once I get down here. So it's gonna kind of be a little bit of a challenge to see what I can do in that amount of time. So this is below the McAlpine Dam here in Louisville. And you can catch about anything down here. Carp, catfish, sauger, hybrids. Bitty bitty one. Thing about fishing down here is, I feel like these people that fish these rivers, um, especially the mighty Ohio, are a different breed. It's like they've got some kind of like secret society, like Illuminati of the Ohio River or something, and they keep all their secrets. And it really can be difficult like these fish are just different. They're, they're different than anywhere I've fished. I've fished, you know, rivers all over the United States. Well, the Eastern side of the United States. And these fish are just different. Um, there we go. That's a... All right, switched up that color just to that white. I didn't even plan on coming down here to keep these fish. But man, look at how cool they are. Look at them teefers. Have you been to the dentist recently? But yeah, like look at how cool the colorings are. And I'm gonna flash up here an identification chart and you look at the markings on this fish and that's how you can tell it from the different species. So you have a sauger, which is the main species, and then you have walleye, and then you have sauguy. And sauguy is a hybrid between a walleye and a sauger, but we're gonna let this one go here. There we go. Yeah, that's a better one. Oh. <laughs> there we go. 
So I'm not keeping any of these today just because I don't really want to mess with them, but they are good eating apparently. I've never had one before. But we're going to let that one go. Get a picture with it. Alright, let's let that one go. That little guy. Y'all doing all right? Trying to enjoy my day before I get, trying to enjoy my day before I go vote. I'm gonna go early vote today. So I'm gonna try to relax here before I go to the stressful environment. Me too. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Hey, you too, good luck. All right, so I'm gonna try. I need to bend this hook back. I'm gonna try this black just to switch up here. All right, let's see how that does. All tangled here. Yeah. Good, burn it, Bobby. I swear, look at them up there on there that scaffolding working on that railroad bridge and i'll switch back up to that white i'm going to cast one more time with this black one if we don't get a bite i'm going to switch colors again so you got this little flow here coming in you've got a current seam you've got some slack water on the other side next to the dam and so i'm just kind of casting over into that slack water and then i'm pulling it through that current seam but what i'm doing is I'm allowing to sink down and you will get snagged, so bring plenty of jigs. And you're just gonna slow roll it through there. And I feel like when I tick the tops of those rocks and then I pull it off, I'm getting some of these strikes. Get seen, get snagged there. There we go. Pull that off there. Make sure my... There we go. And I feel like the majority of these times I'm getting caught isn't actually on the hook. I feel like I'm actually getting caught on the head of that jig. It's getting wedged between rocks. All right, well, so I'm walking across these rocks here. I'm gonna try to not bust my tail through here. These NRS boundary boots are excellent for walking down here, actually. Um, if you haven't seen my video on those, I'll post the link to it at the end of this video. But I'm gonna try to get through here without falling down. That's gonna be the fun part. I might wait to talk to you guys until I get across here because I'm gonna end up falling down. All right, so probably a good idea for me to stop recording and talking to you guys when I was walking across that. If you ever do come down here, you try to go across this stuff, it is freaking slicker than snot on a doorknob with WD-40 on it, KY jelly or something. It is slicker than can be. So you really gotta pay attention. You'll end up with your hindquarters in the water. But hey guys, it was a great day out here today. Really enjoyed myself. Um, I've been out here so many times and gotten skunked. So sometimes guys, it's about timing. It's about staying motivated and remembering why you do it. Because even on the times I've been out here, and I've not caught fish, I have learned stuff. And today, one of the things that I learned was just watching other people. I realized after watching some other people that I was reeling way too fast. And so like I saw a couple other people catch some fish and I started spying on them and seeing what they were doing. And they seemed to be using the same kind of baits as me, but they were reeling a lot slower. So. Sometimes it can be those little details. That's all it is that keeps you from catching fish. So just never give up. 
always enjoy yourself as always guys i appreciate you guys watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today a little something different for me different species and as always guys don't forget get outside do something awesome take somebody with you if you get a chance and don't forget to vote exercise your right to vote peace